two Bishop Snyder High School students have been arrested, charged with threatening to harm an African-American baseball player on the school's team. Those threats are being investigated by Jacksonville police. The two teens are now facing felony charges. And News for Jacks reporter Janice Harris talked with the victim's family about these threats and has a copy of the police reports. Janice. And according to that Jacksonville Sheriff's Office report, each of those two students, they are facing one count of written threats to kill or do bodily injury. These are some serious felony charges, but due to their age, we're not releasing their name. It was these images from a Snyder baseball group chat that led to two players on the team facing felony charges. JSO found the text to be threatening to a player on the team who is African American. Some of the texts were also racist towards African Americans and Asians. Corker Wimberly's younger son is the target of these text threats. Wimberly told me by phone the two arrests bring some comfort to his family. I empathize with the parents, you know. Kids do crazy things, but for every action, there's a reaction. So um, for me, I have to protect my family. So we, we definitely were, were a little at ease knowing that, um, you know, we can be a little safe tonight because threats are not taken lightly. According to the police report, Wimberly also told police their son has had reoccurring issues with the listed suspects, as well as other players on the team, harassing the victim about being the only black player on the team. Moving forward, Wimberly hopes Bishop Snyder High School reminds all students that racism and threats are unacceptable. The school definitely have to send out a mass email they definitely have to have an assembly with these kids and let them know that um, inappropriate behavior, inappropriate racism is not tolerated at all. It's like zero tolerance for racism in, in the school. And coming up tonight at 6, we will hear more from Mr. Wimberly, who told me this is not the first time that they've actually gone to the school and had a conversation with the staff about their children experiencing racism and harassment. We'll have more on that and also a possible solution moving forward coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live near the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station. Denise, thank you. And the Northside Coalition of Jacksonville sent out this statement about the comments saying, we are pleased that JSO conducted a swift and thorough investigation of this disgusting incident. The positive collaboration between JSO and the public to resolve this community conflict should serve as a good model for use in other problem areas of policing. Hostile social media posts like this should never be accepted or tolerated.